in Toronto on this cold morning where maybe some germs are dying because the temperature is uh, below the freezing mark. We're with the germ guy this morning. This is Jason Tetro. And uh, first, how the heck did you get the name, the germ guy? You're a microbiologist. I, I am a microbiologist. Mm -hmm. What happened is uh, I would do live question and answer television segments in Ottawa, where I'm from. And uh, the host at the time was getting sick and tired of saying, microbiologist Jason Tetra from the university, and decided one day to throw out the name germ guy. I would have preferred master of the microbes, <laughs> yeah. but I didn't really have a choice. And within a day, I was walking through the malls and people were going, hey, germ guy. Hey, so, germ guy. But it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, and exactly. You, you got a book now, which is called The Germ Code. The Germ Code, And yeah. this really kind of demystifies germs themselves because a lot of people fear them, but they shouldn't. No, and the problem is, is that um, we really haven't had that great of a relationship with germs. And so what this book is trying to do is what I like to consider germs relationship therapy. I want you to sort of love those germs. Um, I like that you call it therapy. Well, it, it has to be therapy because, quite honestly, we, over the last uh, ever, if you will, we've been pretty much at war with them. But it's a war we can't win. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get people to understand where we've been, you know, what's gone wrong, why the relationship has been so poor. And that is due partly to the fact that our science just wasn't there. But for the last 50 years, we've known good germs exist. Mm -hmm. So now what we're trying to do is... is um, you know, come up with ways that we can improve our lives by incorporating more good germs into our bodies. But if you're a germaphobe and you hate germs, yeah. that's going to be very difficult. So what I'd like to do is help people to get away from that war or fear mentality and get one of love, which really breaks down into what Woody Allen would consider to be appreciation, respect, and commitment, or ARC. And the truth of the matter is there are more good germs than there are bad germs, and our body's made up of germs. Oh, yeah. There's, there, okay, so there's about 2 million different types of germs, kind of like the city of Toronto. Um, you only have about... 1,450 bad germs, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you have tens of thousands of good germs. Um, out of those bad germs, though, you might see a dozen in your lifetime. So this war and fear is only really about, you know, a dozen germs and it just doesn't make sense anymore and some germs we have to get exposure to to make us stronger people to make us healthier exactly and we're learning that like literally day by day we have uh, 90 percent of us is actually bacteria microbes and what we're learning is that in that first six months of life we have to be exposed to a variety of different types of bacteria and then f up until two years we have to be exposed to a different type of variety and we're learning exactly what we need to be exposed to to actually have a healthy life Ironically, though, much like you're a gardener, yeah. people who grew up in farms, people who grew up in very rich, um, diverse environments in agriculture, they're usually the ones that are the least sick as they grow older. And, and kids that go to daycare are probably a little least sick later on in their life, too, because it seems like daycare is that little cesspool of germs that all goes around. Yep. They get through it, and then when they go to elementary school, they're the ones that aren't getting sick. Exactly. When, when you're in that environment, you have germs that are circling around, and everybody is going to get exposed. It's like this herd immunity concept that we talk yeah. about. But what it also does is it gives you an opportunity to realize what it's going to be like when you're older. I mean... We've got Christmas coming, and we know in the shopping malls, yeah. everybody is going to be sneezing. Yeah. And so if you haven't been prepared by having been sick when you're a child, and I apologize to parents. I mean, <laughs> I know it happens. Yeah. But once you have that happen, as they grow older, the immune system is trained. And so it's going to be less likely that they're going to have problems as they grow older. So it's one of those ideas where it's a bit tough in the beginning, but as sort of time goes on, it becomes much better. So if you have a sick child this morning, don't worry. It's worth it. They're going to be a stronger boy later on in life or a girl. Or okay, girl. <laughs> uh, The Germ Guy. Uh, you can check out his book. It's called The Germ Code, available at most bookstores. Thank you very much for coming in this morning, Jason. It was such a pleasure. Thank Happy you. sneezing, everyone. It's a good thing. We're going to take